I found this one on some list of underrated new sci-fi, so I decided to give it a look. I mean, it didn't look extraordinary or anything, but the premise did intrigue me. It had some fantasy vibes to it actually, more than straight up sci-fi. Or rather urban fantasy, I guess the term is, for magic and stuff like that in a modern setting. And that's what this is more or less too, but they did keep it sort of subtle. There aren't any wizards or dragons or any otherworldly creatures either. But it takes place in a sort of dystopian future where drought is plaguing the world. Water is scarce and that's led to some major changes for regular people. But society hasn't completely collapsed and everything is still more or less the same. And the story follows this woman who appears to have some sort of abilities. They keep the specifics pretty vague early on and it takes a while before it's explained. But it's also clear that someone knows about her and is out there looking for her. So that's basically the setup here and that mystery of who and what she is sort of drives the story in the beginning. And it was intriguing enough, not gonna lie, it held my interest. The problem was that the further into it we got, the less interesting it got to me. Because the core story and the characters turned out to be kind of boring. I just couldn't relate to any of it and the writing just wasn't very good. And that's sort of the thing that really killed it for me, the mediocre writing. It also felt like the whole story should have been fleshed out more. It just felt a little bit flimsy and stretched way too thin. There wasn't enough story here to make a movie that's an hour 40 minutes. Which meant that the pacing seemed to grind to a halt at some point. And yeah, I was honestly a little bit bored by it. It just failed to entertain me to the end. I guess it also didn't help that I figured out the big reveal way too soon. I mean, it wasn't difficult either, you basically just have to ask yourself a simple question. A question that the movie basically begs you to ask too. Because it keeps that mystery around her abilities going. It keeps the details vague and you don't really know what it is she can actually do. You don't know the specifics and you don't know the extent of her powers either. And on the surface, they also don't seem to relate to the overall story here. They don't seem to play any sort of role in the grand scheme of things. So the obvious question to ask is, what is the point of her abilities? Why does she even have them? And you have to assume they're gonna come into play later, in some way or another. At least if the writer knows the basics of storytelling, setup and payoff. Because you can't just have a main character with these magical abilities and then not have it play a role. So the movie basically forces you to ask the question, what are her abilities and why does it matter? And when you do that, the answer becomes pretty apparent. There's not a whole lot of things that would make sense from the point of view of the bigger story here. And once I figured out what her abilities probably were and how they would most likely play into the story, I basically knew exactly where the story was going and the whole thing sort of deflated. Because there wasn't even that mystery and intrigue to keep it going anymore. And yeah, it played out more or less exactly the way I expected it to. Because there wasn't really that many other ways it could have gone. That being said, I guess the core of the story does work. As I mentioned before, you'd expect there to be a setup and a payoff. Which there is, her abilities come into play later and it does make sense. It delivers on that promise and doesn't leave you hanging. But the problem is that there really isn't that much depth to the whole thing. It's one of these stories that do make sense on a surface level. But you shouldn't go digging and start asking more questions. Because it all starts falling apart pretty quickly. There's not a very rigid framework holding it all up. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of detailed lore or anything like that behind it either. But if you just take it at face value, it does work. It's not the worst story I've ever heard. But it's also not that great and I honestly didn't care for it very much. I mean, from a technical standpoint, the movie is fine. It's okay. It looks okay, the acting's perfectly fine, but the writing just wasn't very good. And as a whole, I didn't find it very entertaining or even noteworthy. But would I recommend it? Not really, there are much better movies out there. So you can probably skip this one. Or don't, I'm not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to buy myself a ranch in the middle of nowhere. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it, thanks.